Welcome back to the channel friends, it is great to be here and I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be taking a look at Happy Sheepies. And this is a game that has been recommended by a prized member of the Discord community. Logan, you know who you are. You've been asking me to play this one for a while. Well today my friend, I've gotcha. So let's play some Happy Sheepies. And what is this game exactly? Well it's a cozy little farm simulator centralized around the various capabilities of the sheep. And that's about all I know about it, to be completely honest with you. I have zero experience with this game, but I'm excited to jump in and have some fun. Saw what it looks like on Steam, and it looks like a great fit for the channel, and I know how this community loves their farming games. So let's start a new one here. Let's play a new one. So let's just jump right on in here, my friends. Let's do a new game. And let's see what we can learn about Happy Sheepies. And I think the first thing that jumps out is the art style is very, very charming. Welcome to your farm. Relax by meeting the needs of your sheepies. Craft and sell your products and grow your business. To learn the game quickly, just follow the quest at the top center. Read the info box in the bottom left. Good luck. All right, thanks game. Appreciate the wishes for luck. All right, so the basic control. So it looks like we do have a tutorial here to show us the ropes. Let's try to move through this quickly. So move your mouse on anything to see its details here. Check these, all right. Basic controls. So what do we have? We have move a sheep with mouse left. Okay, so we can pick up our little sheep friends and they, they kind of squeak when you do that. That's charming. I like that. Okay, and then what else do we have? Pan the camera with mouse right. Okay, got it. Pretty basic stuff there. Camera zoom is the mouse wheel, of course. Feed your sheepies. Okay, so the sheepies like wheat. So let's just drag it on them there. Okay, so I kind of get... I kind of already see, like, part of the intrigue about this game. It's sort of like doing things in a quick fashion, right? So, like, you can do simultaneous things or multiple things if you're dexterous with your mouse cursor here, right? So, we got them both watered. We got the water filled up, right, if you do this quickly. Maybe there's automation potential in the future. I'm not sure. But let's learn a little bit more about milking our sheepies here. So, buy and use two empty bottles from the market. Open the market with space bar or the button in the top right corner. So right here, I'm going to use space bar. And wow, look at this marketplace. Lots of products for sale here, my friends. But of course, we're looking for the empty bottle. So we have two sheepies that need to be milked. So let's buy two of them. Looks like the game just hooks you up with enough gold. All right, looking good. So it appears as if they're just ready to be milked. So let's, I guess... Bring out all four hands that we have and uh, get them milked both at the same time. Now make them sleep. Give them water after milking. They'll sleep like baby. Okay, got it. So we just got to water them again after we milk them and then they will fall back to sleep. Very nice. In fact, let's get a nice cozy little spot for our sheep friends. How about in the top left corner here? That's a great spot. I guess let's just keep the crap piling up in the bottom right corner and the milk in the middle here. I'm not sure what we can do with this yet. Cannot be sold. Okay, so must have to process our raw milk further. It's an excellent raw material for making butter in a butter churn. Okay, interesting. All right, gathering needs. Buy one soil and one wheat seed to start growing. Wheat for your sheepies. All right, got it. So back to the shop here, space bar and soil. $96 for a plot of soil. My goodness. Must be some high quality stuff. Let's buy it. Okay, so I do like the interface of this game. And then let's get some wheat seeds as well. I mean, I like that everything can be moved around, right? So, if, yeah, so we can move the well too. Okay, that, that's that's nice. It's all click and drag stuff here. Let's put the, the field right here. And then, of course, let's get the wheat seeds in it. So, obviously, I think we need to water our wheat now. Okay, let's fill that back up. Can I harvest? Water it, water it, water it, repeat. Okay, so... Yeah, we have to water it three times. Got it. So let's actually move this closer to the well so it's, it's easier for us to do. See, this is what I mean. Like, you can do other things while we're watering, for instance. Definitely interesting. All right, so making of butter. And we do have three units of wheat here. Very nice. But making of butter. Let's learn how to make some butter. Buy a butter churn to make butter from raw milk. And have two butter. Okay, you got it. So let's find in the menu where the butter churn, there it is, nice alphabetical order here. So butter churn, absolutely. So let's throw that up here as well and so we can put two units of milk in the butter churn at the same time. Okay, cool. 
So I like that. Alright, so here is our butter. The quest has been completed, of course. Packaging of butter. So buy one packaging table and one packaging paper, and then put the paper on the table. To package two butter on it. Okay, so another structure, it appears. Packaging table. You bet. And then we need the packaging paper. I wonder what this little... Doesn't appear to be part of the overall sprite. I wonder what that is. So let's put the paper on the table. Okay, so it's got, uh... It's got counters. It's got uses, essentially, is what I'm seeing here. So let's get the butter on the packaging table, and look at that. We're making our first, like, farm fresh product here, my friends. We do have the pack of butter. Look at that. Stamped with love. Selling butter. Sell two pack of butter to sell area on the top of your farm. You can also sell items with control mouse left. Okay. Control mouse left. Okay, got it. So that's the sell area right here. Got it. Okay. I think I'll just use control mouse left from now on. Cleaning bottles. Buy a dry sink and clean your dirty bottles in it. So another structure here. I suppose with such an extensive shop, there's probably a lot of structures, a lot of different things to do. So we got to clean our dirty bottles. I wasn't even aware that they were dirty. I suppose though they had milk in them. Alright, have five wheats. Okay, so we have three currently. So let's buy some more seeds. Uh, we're out of cash. Okay, so I do believe we can probably... So let's sell one of our raw wheat to get four more gold. And let's get back in here and get some more seeds. Alright, perfect. So let's get them planted. Let's get them watered. And let's see if we can do this quickly here. Alright, looking good. Alright, so we, get, we have more wheat, right? Let's get some more planted, though. Okay, we have to move the crap to the composter, if you will. Just give me one moment here, game. I'm busy growing wheat. Alright, we got more wheat. So the crap to the composter. L let's see. Looks like our sheep are ready to eat again as well. Um, buy a composter and put the crap into, uh, into it to free your resource capacity a little bit. So it looks like we do have capacity as well that we're working with. So gold coins. We have sheep capacity. We have resource capacity. Okay, 13 through 15, that must be like just anything that is loose and not considered a structure is considered a resource. And then structure capacity. Okay, got it. So, craps of the composter, we have to get it. Uh, let's see, how much does a composter cost though exactly? So, it costs 50. We have 30. So, what do we have to do here, my friends? Well, I think it's pretty simple. We do have to get some more butter. Gotta get that sold. We could probably also sell some wheat, but... Let's go the butter route. I really enjoyed the packaging process of that butter. That was a fine thing to watch and witness. Alright, we gotta turn it into butter first, and then we gotta do it. So, I see. I, I kind of see how this game goes. You have to be aware of the different sequences of things so you can create efficiency within your own farm. Because you are clicking and dragging a lot of things, it appears. So if you have things arranged properly where they belong, right? I think that's how you really gain efficiency in this game. But let's get a composter here, my friends. And let's go ahead and put that far away from everything else, of course. And let's load it up with literal crap. <laughs> Alright, we have to sell 10 wheat now. So the mission, of course, will be to... Let's get some more wheat seeds. I think if we sell two units of wheat, turn it into two units of seeds, we should be good. Okay. Let's just get it watered up here. I want to get real fast at this for sure. And like I said, maybe there's ways to automate, like there's advanced buildings that automate for you. I guess we're going to have to find out. But we have... Six units of wheat here. So let's just keep rolling. That is nine units of wheat. Okay, so we have to sell one more. Alright. That's alright. Let's get the wheat requirement so we can see what's next. Anybody excited to see what's next? 
I'm gonna find out here. Okay, sell 10 units of wheat. Okay, so it's just sell. Got it. I thought it was produce 10 units of wheat. Or have 10 units of wheat on you. We got a little bit of extra wheat. That's all right. It looks like our sheep need to be sheared, though, of course. So selling dirty wool. Buy shears to shear sheepies when they need it. Then sell to dirty wool. Okay, got it. Pretty basic stuff here. Of course, the, the sheep is known to produce the wool, right? Let's go ahead and get them fed first. Let's fill up our compost operation here. Let's, let's get them watered and milked probably as well, huh? Oh, come on. That was on time. All right, so we got them milked. Let's get this churning. Let's get them sheared down. I wonder if you can shear them while they're sleeping. That is a question that I certainly have. Though I don't think it truly matters all that much. Let's get these bottles. So this this is where it does get a little frenetic. Like all the sequencing of things. Like once you do this, it goes here. We have butter. Let's get it packaged up, right? Let's just do this autonomously. Should we grow some more wheat? Sure. Let's grow some more wheat as well. Okay, sell the two dirty wool. We'll sell it while we're growing wheat. Let's go. Let's multitask. Let's do multiple things at once. Get some more wheat. Kind of like how everything's just kind of laid out for you, right? Like if you want your shears, you got to remember where you left it. If you want your bottles, you got to look at where your bottles might be. Interesting stuff for sure. Okay, so using fertilizers. Get fertilizer with an empty sack from a full composter. Apply it to your soil, then plant seeds and harvest more. Okay, so that's another item to buy in the shop. Empty sack. Here we go. So let's go ahead. It is full. So let's go ahead and use that there. All right, so we got a nice bag of fertilizer. Let's use it on our field. You bet. Keep that sack right next to the compost bin. And let's go ahead and... What did it say? Plants? Plant seeds and harvest more. Okay. So let's do it. Let's plant seeds. Let's get them watered up. So it looks like time's progressing here. So I wonder if it's progressing slower or what have you during the, the tutorial. So it looks like we are over capacity on resources here. So let's move off of a few units of wheat. It looks like this field is just going to keep spitting them out. Good way to get a bit of income for sure. All right, tremendous. Baby sheepy. Every three days, you'll see a heart prompt on your really happy sheepies. Drag those on top of one another. Okay, got it. So let's feed them first. Get some more compost that's thrown in the compost bin. Let's go ahead and get these guys watered up, milked up. Suppose I got some butter I can still sell here. We actually got several units of butter, which is great. Okay, so I don't see a heart icon quite yet. Okay, here we go. All right, so I just have to drag them on top of one another. Is that it? Okay, there, there we go. So that is how a baby sheep is made, my friends. And it just spawns out of nothingness. Care with baby. It is your little baby sheepy. Make sure it is getting raw milk and medicine. Okay, so it needs milk. Got it. All right, so we're going to have to get some more milk. So let's do it. Oh, they're going to sleep. Okay, so we have to wait until our other sheep wake up here. Let's sell some butter. For sure. Let's see if we can get some medicine. Medicine. $10. Stick them right in the butt there for sure. Ah, so you can shear down your grown wheat to create wheat seeds. Interesting. Let's get a little composting operation going. Let's get this fertilized. And let's plant some more wheat there. Interesting. I do like that. All right, so we need some milk for sure. So let's get some milk once our sheep wake up. I'm not sure how frequently they awaken. Guess we're going to find out. Kind of jumped the gun and made some butter first. So I think while we're kind of waiting around here, I suppose. 
We can go ahead and just keep this effort rolling. Keep planting some more wheat. Why not? Got seven uh, available resource capacity here. Okay. So let's sell one of those. Let's shear another one down. And let's go ahead and let's do one more round of it. Is there a way to like wake him up? Doesn't look like it. Complete the current quest first to move on to the next day. Okay, did I like soft lock this? You can't buy raw milk. Yeah, you can. Never mind. All right, I didn't see that. My apologies, my friends. I was thinking, let's simply get that from... And look at that. We got another bottle, though. So that's useful. Game speed. So try speeding up the game with one, two, three keys or clicking on the day frame. Okay, got it. Farm area. Buy farm area from the market to expand your farm area. Okay, cool. So there's an expansion element to this as well. I do like that. I do like that quite a bit. All right, so we will certainly do that, but let's take care of our sheep first and foremost here, my friends. We're going to get them all sheared up, watered up, just having fun, loving life, enjoying themselves, right? We're going to... Pay attention to all these things that our sheep need. We are a steward of the sheep here today. So let's get them milked up here. And let's milk the baby as well. Dirty bottle. Let's get them watered up again. And it'd be great to get another bucket. If I'm being honest, I wouldn't mind that. Have like two buckets that you can kind of cycle through. All right, and to sleep they go. All right, we have all kinds of fine products here, my friends. Let's sell the butter. This dirty wool, it needs to be cleaned in a wool washer before being used. Is that something that we can buy? It's not really going to allow us to do so yet. Farm area, though, for 75 gold. Can we buy another bucket? That's the question. Doesn't look like it. All right, so 75 gold. We've got to make 75 gold. This does sell pretty decent. So, boom, there's our 75. Let's go ahead and get the farm area. Okay, so it just gives us a bigger overall fence. Okay, excellent. A lot more space. Although, I do think... I do think making a nice, compact build will benefit you in this. Tough times. You're going through tough times. Save 100 gold coins somehow. All right. So I think we can speed up time until our sheep wake up a little bit. Okay, here we go. So let's kind of return to where the speed is normal. Let's get them fed. They're not ready to be sheared. But we can certainly get them watered and milked. And then, of course, that will give us some more butter to play around with. Might as well feed the baby. Can't be a good steward of the sheep without feeding the young ones, right? Let's get this washed up. Compost. Package the butter. Gonna need more of that packaging paper. Alright, I kind of want to space this out just a little bit. I know I just got done saying that I think compact is good, but I don't like when things get lost, right? So I want to be a little aware of that for sure. Alright, so here's the bucket. So we have 14 gold. Wheat sells for 4. We have a 6 additional resource capacity space. Okay, so let's go ahead and I think what we can do is we can pretty easily I mean, let's get more packaging paper. We're going to need that for more butter. Either that or we let's get some wheat seeds first. Actually, no, we don't need wheat seeds. Let's just shear a few units of wheat down. Let 
I mean, obviously, we want to capitalize on butter. And then the dirty wool as well. But while we're waiting, while they're sleeping, we might as well make a little bit of cash. We can always speed up time too, of course. In fact, I think that's probably the better option here. But we can do a few rounds of selling some wheat, for sure. Because after all, our sheep do need to eat it. We have three left. I think that's a fitting amount. Okay, so let's get them sheared. Let's get you fed. Let's get you watered. Compost, you know where that goes. Alright, so milked. Yes, indeed. Can milk two sheep at the same time. And let's feed the baby. I wonder when the baby matures. To where it actually produces for us versus takes from us, right? I guess we're going to find out real soon. <laughs> the baby, like, has this really high-pitched squeak. That's charming. All right, so dirty wool does sell good. So let's go ahead and sell it. We have some raw milk to turn into, of course, butter. Dirty bottle. Let's make sure we keep the kitchen clean here, my friends. Uh, packaging paper. It is a little spendy, but that's all right. All right, so let's go ahead and... Whoops, let's shear down some wheat, and let's go ahead and get some more wheat rolling. In fact, we have fertilizer down here that I failed to register. That's all right. We can hit it again. We'll certainly use it. So funny that you can water the fields. I did that out of sequence there. You can definitely try to be moving a little too fast in this game. I'm not going to lie. It's like the game within the game. If you know what I'm saying. Alright, so it looks like this one needs more medicine. Okay. Let's start with the shearing first. Why is it flashing red at me? Okay, yeah, well, we'll get you fed, pal. You're, like, screaming at me. I don't like being screamed at. Let's get you watered. Let's get the compost where it belongs. I think there's probably a more ideal setup that we can implement here soon. I think probably getting the compost near the sheep is important. And then the water near the sheep as well. In fact, maybe if we have our sheep in the center and then everything around them that's probably a more ideal setup so we're going to look into that once they're sleeping for sure but it looks like we need more medicine so let's go ahead and get that boom got more milk let's churn that up let's get the dishes done got to do the dishes my friends Get some butter rolling. Definitely interesting. I'm digging this game. It's it's fun. It's fun so far for sure. I can see it getting maybe a little tedious once you have like a million different things going on. But I mean, so far it's been enjoyable. So let's sell all this butter and this dirty wool and a few units of wheat will put us over the top. But what I want to do is I want to get arranged properly. I feel like we are very inefficient current state. So let's have just our wheat reserves right here. The sheep obviously eat the wheat. We know this. All right, let's shear you up. Let's feed you. Let's shear you up. Let's get you out nice and close. Let's 
Let's get you nice and close to the water. You don't need to be sheared. Let's collect that compost. Let's fertilize the field. All right, water bucket. Let's give you a, just a little hit of water here. All right, lovely. Let's see if we can milk three sheep at once. Uh, we sure can. No doubt in my mind, my friends. <laughs> All right, so we got some nice package butter. And that will take us over the top this time. Let's get our sheep nice and satiated and sleeping. And then let's move on. See what the next leg of the quest is. Definitely got some products to sell here. However, I feel like I don't necessarily have to just sell all of them yet. I think butter is a pretty steady thing to sell to get us across and out of the tough times, right? So wool business. Buy both wool washer and wool dryer. Use them to make extra gold by selling wool for a greater price. I love the sound of that and I'm glad I didn't sell my dirty wool. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, wool washer. You can wash and clean your dirty wool in it. Okay. All right, a nice little tub. Wool dryer. The best and fastest place for drying out the wet wool. Ah, nice classic clothesline. Alright, so let's clean some wool for sure. Absolutely. Let's get the sheep fed as well. Let's get you sheared. Let's get you watered. Let's get you milked. Let's get you watered. You milked. Let's get you watered as well. And then milked. Let's get some more water going for sure. Let's get some butter rolling. Let's do the dishes. So I certainly have to move. Gotta move this here for sure. Okay, we got the bottles. We got the shear. So let's throw that in here and let's get it drying out, huh? What do you say? All right, so we just got some regular wool. It sells for double the price, huh? Okay. I can definitely get down with that. Wash and dry your dirty wool, then sell them. We have to do that twice to advance, so we certainly will. I do need some more packaging paper, though. So let's go to the let's go to the store, right, and buy some more packaging paper. Okay. All right, let's refill you. I think we should get some more wheat seeds. What do you say? Probably should get some more wheat seeds. Let's buy a couple of units. Could get another farm fill too, I suppose. But the thing about the farm field is it just takes a while to water, right? So I don't necessarily need another farm field because I'm not going to be able to water it that quickly. Okay, so we are capacity. So let's sell some butter. Let's sell our two wool. And now we're starting to make some real money, my friends. We are in the age of prosperity now. Sheep capacity. Okay, so how do we get more? Increase your sheep capacity to four. Fortunately, it is sold in the market. Interesting. Okay. So let's see how that price is out. Is that just called? Yeah, sheep capacity. Okay, $100. All right, we'll be there after the conclusion of today for sure. I'm going to hold off on watering just yet. We're going to get our sheep taken care of first. Let's get you sheared. Let's get you watered. Let's get you sheared. Let's get you water. Let's get this washing. Let's get this washing. Let's get you water. Let's get you milked. Let's get you milked. Oh, uh, where's my bucket? There it is. Butter. Butter. Compost. Compost. 
compost. You can't be sheared, but you need some water for sure. Let's do the dishes. We got the butter. Let's get a packaging. All right, more water. I feel like we always need more water. Wet wool, let's dry it out. Got some just regular wool wool. Let's get some good stuff. Let's sell the butter. Got the bucket here. One more sheep needs, needs some water. Let's hook him up. All right, he's hooked up. Empty bottle. All right, the dishes have been done. Uh, let's see. Let's move the butter churn. Let's move that right here. Dishes right here. Let's go. Let's do this. I think that makes a little more sense. And then we can move this arrangement like so. I'm finding that encircling your sheep with is your very structures is at least the way to go that, that I have discovered in my very short time playing this game. But where things land, it's kind of random too as well. All right, so we got the cash that we needed. Sheep capacity, let's upgrade it. Okay. Additional bucket. Buy an, buy an additional empty bucket from the market. Have two water buckets to make your life easier. Yes, indeed. Buckets. Quest recipes, menus, market. Um, oh, empty bucket. Okay. $48 for a bucket. Well, I guess we will comply. But my goodness, that is an expensive bucket. Alright, so we got some buckets here, my friends. Let's go. Let's shear you down. Let's get the buckets filling. I see. All right, compost going down. Let's get that filled up. I've right, got a bunch more wheat now, which is good. Let's get some butter churning. Let's get some more fertilizer. Let's fill up this bucket and this bucket. Okay, so it does get it does get kind of zany, kind of frenetic. <laughs> I kind of like it. So we are at structural capacity here. A dirty bottle. Okay, so let's see. Let's get this filled up. Okay, so interesting. Once something disappears into a structure, it removes the capacity that's taken up. So let's get that fertilized then. All right, our sheepies are sleeping. The dishes are done. We got some butter that we can sell. Okay, so dirty wool. We got some just wool wool here, which is good. We got a bunch of wheat. Structure capacity. Buy a structure capacity from the market to increase. Okay, got it. So structure capacity is another thing that you can buy. Definitely. Definitely buy that. Make water trough. Okay, buy an empty water trough. Fill it with water in the water well. Your sheepies will automatically drink it when needed. Oh, that sounds amazing, actually. So it must be E empty trough. So 80 gold. All right. So let's let's get you sheared down first. In fact, do we get two shears? Does that make sense? I think it could possibly make some sense. All right, let's get you all fed. All right, compost, you know what to do with that. So this is going to be where maybe some automation does come into play, which is definitely good I think this game can benefit greatly from some automation just from some more of it I do understand like the idea of humble beginnings though like like you start off small you know you know what I'm saying and then you get to a place where you're prosperous enough to automate it's kind of more rewarding in that sense and what do you know we have a baby sheep but I feel like I just got a bunch of products just 
sitting around everywhere. I'm gonna sell that butter. A medicine for the baby. Alright, so let's make... Yeah, let's make some... Milk for sure. I guess one thing, it's like, some of the objects, they, they hide behind structures. It's hard to see everything. That's one thing that I've definitely noticed. Alright, baby sheep. Let's see, let's get you some meds. Medicine. Yep, you bet. Boom. There you go. Little injection in the butt there. Compost. Can sell some nice clean wool. And let's make that trough, that empty trough. Okay. Ah, I see. So it's not fully automated, but it does have charges on it, which is better than nothing, I suppose. So I think what I need to do is, let's go ahead and... Let's move this, like, right here. So it's real close. Alright, so, what are we doing now? Wool sacks. Put your wool into an empty sack and sell two of them. Okay, so... Gotta buy some sacks. Empty sack, that is. So let's buy two of them. Let's get you sheared down since you're ready to be sheared. Let's clean that wool. Okay, nice. They are automatically getting their water, which is great. Let's triple milk. Let's feed the baby. Let's make some butter. Do the dishes. <laughs> make some butter, do the dishes. Alright, so. Wool in a sack. A sack of wool. Okay. And that just increases the sell price. Got it. So these are all things we're going to be selling. I don't like how the butter hides behind the well. Just don't like that. So it seems like the water trough doesn't necessarily need to be so far or so close to, to the sheep. Um, we're definitely going to need some more wheat though for sure. I've got some capacity so let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and get some more wheat seeds. Boom. Alright, that should yield some decent wheat for us. We can actually offload this fertilizer as well then. Got another empty sack. I like that uh, objects sort of have different functions as well. Like the sack, you know, it's, it's got several different functions. So I need some more packaging paper. That is definitely something that I need. However, let's get our... Nice sheep friends sheared up here. Whoops. Okay. So, wheats, 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 compost, sack, compost, compost, more fertilizer. Let's get three units of milk. Feed the baby. Make some butter. I need some more packaging paper. Alright, we have some butter. We have some dishes that have been completed. Alright, so. I think getting another pair of shears would be nice. Can we get... Shears. Looks like we can't buy them yet. Interesting. Okay. 
I need some more packaging paper. So let's sell both of these wool sacks here. Let's get some more packaging paper. For our butter, right? Need that. Can just sell this regular butter here. Might as well chip in a little cash. So when you sell the sack of wool, the the sack goes with it. You don't get that sack back. Interesting. Okay, let's fill up the trough. More soil, yeah. I do think more soil is probably useful to us. Let's get some more wheat seeds first, though. I would love if you could just double water it. You can fill both buckets up at the same time, though. So that's nice. Have two soil on your farm. Start growing your business. Okay. So, we'll definitely get there. How about two sets of shears, though, pal? What do you say? Alright, so, we got some milking to do. Let's go. Feed the baby. Make the butter. Do the dishes. Feed the baby, make the butter, do the dishes. That, that's kind of... <laughs> if I was into more, like, obscure video titles, that might be the video title to this. But I feel like the general viewership audience would be quite confused by that. But as we're talking about viewership audience here, my friends, if you are enjoying the content here on the channel... Now, I forgot to mention this. I usually kind of open with it and then stop begging for subscriptions. Definitely not begging, but if you're enjoying the content here on the channel and, you know, you think it's some nice chill vibes, you're having fun here, maybe this is your first time stopping by the channel, whatever your situation is, if you're having some fun here, then, you know, we're going to just keep having fun, right? The content is going to just continue to keep on rolling, my friends. So if that is something that you feel that you would benefit from, and that you enjoy, then you can certainly become a subscriber to the channel. It is free, and I would love to have you in the community. We're just playing some games here. We're having fun. We like farm games. We like roguelikes. We like all kinds of other stuff. I've really kind of gotten into the era of trying some new games out, right? Seeing what sticks with the community, seeing what you know you prefer, what you like. So I do value your feedback, and... You know, if you want to leave a comment in the comments field of this video here, let me know what you think about Happy Sheepies, right? If this is something that you want to continue to see. You know, I certainly try to give the people what they want. So, the way you do that is, you, uh, of course, let me know, right? You let me know how you're feeling. And if the sentiment is there, then my friends, I, I try to deliver for you. So, let me know. Let me know if you're liking the Happy Sheepies and this is something that you want me to keep playing for a while. Because... I'm having a good time. I'm actually kind of curious to see how this game evolves and kind of what happens once you get a little further down the road. I mean, I feel like we've been in a tutorial the entire... And, you know, granted, it's it's not a tutorial that restricts you too much, right? It doesn't completely restrict your choices and what you're able to do. But I feel like we've been in a tutorial the entire video, essentially, right? So I wonder what it looks like when the game turns you loose a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm already seeing things like, okay, we need more empty bottles. We need more of this and that, etc., etc. Definitely kind of curious to see how this game can e evolve further. All right, the baby has grown up, of course, but I definitely need another bottle, don't I? Absolutely, I do. So, yeah. Just to close out that thought, let me know. How are you liking the Happy Sheepies? Send me a comment. Let me know. You can also join the Discord. I did mention Logan from the Discord channel. He is the man who, of course, recommended this game. 
So shout out to you, Logan. Shout out to the Discord community as well. If you want to become a member of said Discord community, you can do that by clicking the link in the video description below. It is a fun place. It's a fine place. There's a lot of cool people there. So if you want to join and maybe make a game recommendation yourself, you know, I'd love to have you in the community. Absolutely. Growing carrots. Okay, so now we get into like the whole farming aspect of this game. So it's not necessarily just cultivating your sheep. Maybe we can grow some crops for some profit. Buy carrot seeds, plant and grow them, then sell, then sell, excuse me, six carrots in total. Okay. So that is good to know. We're going to need some cash though, so let's sell some butter. Uh, I do need, I feel like I need another empty bottle. It's only eight. Let's do it. Empty bucket is 48, of course. Empty sack. Let's get three of these. This will surely give us some cash. It's definitely interesting. Like, you have to manage your, your different resources, your different elements. So here's another sack for us. Though the compost bin sure fills up quickly, doesn't it? And we don't have enough wheat. So that was an oversight. So let's actually grow two rounds of wheat here. And obviously, uh, two buckets helps speed that up for sure. Alright, so we got some wheat here. My sheep will not starve. Okay, so we are at resource capacity. Okay, so... What does resource capacity cost? 10. Now it costs 11. I think I can just kind of go in on this. Let me check the carrot seeds, though. Uh, carrot seeds are six. Okay. We have we have at least freed up some capacity here, which is good. That's what I wanted to do. So let's get these fields fertilized, of course. Let's get our sheep taken care of first. All right, so sheared up. Yep, you bet. I'm going to shear you, and then we're going to, of course, wash your wool. Let's get you, uh, let's get all four of you milk at the same time. Let's see how talented we truly are. Let's go. That's right. We got eight hands now, my friends. It's growing hands out of our back. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so we're going to need some more packaging paper for sure to get this butter going. So let's get some more packaging paper. Packaging paper. Boom. Okay, we're good there. Whoops, that is a dirty bottle. Let's do the dishes here quick. Alright, so that's looking good. Are the sheep awake again? Okay, so maybe there is like more of a time element that, that comes into play. I mean, you're definitely racing against the time in, in some respects. But it's also like cozy as well, right? Like I don't feel like stressed out. I do feel there's obviously ways to maximize a little bit better though. Like we just got two rounds out of our sheep there, right? Made a whole lot of butter in the process, too, I must admit. All right, let's get these dry in. Let's get those packing up. Let's get the dishes done. Butter packaging, for sure. Let's get you watered. There, sheep friends. And back to sleep you go. Sell a bunch of butter. What do you say? Compost. You know where to go. Okay. Alright, so. Let's get some carrots. What do you say? 
feel like we're in a good spot to do so. Let's get the water trough, though. I guess I didn't realize that the water trough was empty. Didn't stop to think, why do I have to water my sheep? I mean, I think you could probably take the angle of getting another water trough as well and just keeping that thing filled up as well. Um, let's buy some... Let's buy an empty sack. Let's buy four of them. All right, made some good cash there. Let's buy some carrot seeds. Carrot seeds. Uh, we need six of them. Should we get two rounds? Should we get two rounds? Of course we should get two rounds. I'm curious how these might sell. All right, we got a bunch of carrots there, my friends. That is a fact. Campfire cooking. Okay. So this is where we're going to be able to likely increase the value of things like carrots, maybe wheat, but definitely carrots. You know, make steamed carrots or what have you. So I like that. This game just keeps getting, like, it keeps adding just more and more layers to it, right? Like, is all this butter that I've been selling all game long, is that not the most optimal thing to do with the butter? I don't know. All I know is maybe another bucket might be useful. So let's look at another empty bucket here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Resource capacity. Let's hit that again, too. We definitely got the cash. Let's get that field fertilized. The dishes have been completed. Let's get some more packaging paper as well. Packaging paper. Yep, you bet. Throw that on the table there. Everything's looking good. Let's get an empty sack. Actually starting to make some money once we start selling the sacks of wheat. Campfire cooking though. Buy a campfire and cook three carrots on it. Okay, campfire. 50 gold. Not enough structure capacity. Well, let's take care of that right now. Structure capacity, 55 gold. A little spendy, but that's alright. Campfire. Boom. Very cool that you can simply just drag things to it. We have the cooked carrot. It sells for six gold now. Okay, we need some more wheat seeds for sure. Actually, what I could do is to shear these down twice. Make wheat trough. So this will automate the feeding process, I would assume, for your sheep. Okay, good to know. Okay, we got some more wheat here, my friends. And we should be getting some more fertilizer eventually as well. Which will help fill our compost, and then we can look into what our next move is with our farm fields. Alright, so let's feed ya... Sheep friends. Alright, so there's another bag of compost. Let's take it. And let's milk them. Okay, so wheat seeds is definitely needed. Let's get some butter. Let's do the dishes. Butter pops out in the sink. <laughs> I 
All right, let's fill the bucket back up. Let's get our butter rolling again here, my friends. And rack capacity, interesting. That's all right. We'll sell the butter. Actually got a lot of wheat coming out here. So let's buy three empty sacks. Not enough resource capacity, of course. I suppose we're going to sell. We can sell these carrots. Empty sack. Let's buy three of those. And you guessed it. Boom, boom, boom. Saving the game there. Okay, let's make the wheat trough. Empty trough. I ah, got it. So you can put whatever you want in the trough. So that is interesting as well. Okay, so I didn't see that coming. I thought the trough was just for water, but no, you can. it's a feeding trough as well, isn't it? So I think we can have this real close, right? Real adjacent to the well. Oh, there's a stick of butter hiding behind the well. Interesting. So we're going to definitely need to have a continuous supply of wheat, right? But let's just see how this works. I'll put the feed trough right here. Got it. Okay. That's real cool. Uh, I like how it just slowly gets a little more automated. And then eventually, are you going to get the auto grabber like in uh, Sardu Valley, right? Where it just does all of the shearing and resource collection for you? Most likely. I mean, I would think so. I think that's a logical advancement. I feel like we're just not really making anything off butter here. That wool is the way to go, but we're not getting it every single turn, of course. So we could definitely use some more fertilizer for sure. In fact, I believe you can just buy it. Yeah, $24. That, that's spendy. But we need it. Right? So let's do that. Let's get another harvest of... Oh, look, the, look at that. You get a free sack with it. Interesting. Let's get that hanging up. Another wheat harvest here. It'll keep our sheep fed. Boom. Sell it. All right, resource capacity one. Increase your resource capacity to 30 by buying it from the market. All right, so here's what I'm going to do, my friends. We are going to play out this one more day, this day 21 here, because the game does auto save. it looks like. So let's see how many of these quests we can get done. Okay, there's another one done. Potatoes or onions. All right, so that that is the game. So, the next task at hand, my friends, is going to be potatoes or onions, it appears. Let's see, what do we know about onion seeds? Put them on the soil and water the soil. Yep, of course. Delicious onions. It looks like they sell for 10 gold. I'm a huge fan of onions. It is my favorite vegetable, so... I think if I was going to endeavor into another vegetable type, it would certainly be the onions. And then my mind goes to, like, can you make, like, stew and stuff? Like, can you add carrots and onions and potatoes? Some type of uh, protein to add, to make a stew over the campfire? I mean, I think this game has a lot of potential, and boy, did I have some fun with it. Absolutely. Wasn't really knowing what to expect with it, but what a charming game this is. So, I do want to give a shout out to Logan. Thank you so much, my friend, for making a wonderful recommendation we're gonna pop out here the game is saved there so we are about at the hour mark here my friends i'm gonna I think wrap this one up i think one hour is a great little intro to happy sheepies here like i said i had a great time great recommendation by logan i appreciate it if you do want to see more of this game right let me know in the comments field please i am all about giving the people the content that they want and if this is a game that maybe uh it's got a nice cozy vibe from maybe you were able to enjoy this while working or however you choose to enjoy. 
If you want to keep seeing it, do let me know. I'd love to continue on our save file here. Like I said, I'm really curious about how the game evolves. I think it's got a lot of potential. I mean, even if we look in the backdrop here, right, there's all kinds of different buildings that I'm not even aware of yet. So I am, of course, only one man, but I try to give the people what they want. So do let me know. So with that said, my friends, I'm going to get on out of here. Please subscribe to the channel. Please join the Discord if you want to get a little more connected. We'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.